Hello everyone. Very good morning. In this session, we are going to discuss some of the limitations of the CDS. The very first limitation we generally come across that we see the message whenever we have three or more than three association they are present in the CDS. So the first message sometimes we get association can't be accessed locally. When we get this message, let's go and discuss. Let's suppose we have a table EKKO and EKPO in the CDS. EKKO and EKPO is uh, related with cardinality one dot dot star. That means corresponding to one record of uh, EKKO. That means corresponding to one purchase order. We can have multiple purchase order items in EKPO. So one dot dot star is representing the right side of the table's cardinality. Minimum one, maximum any number of records corresponding to one purchase order header. It's always going to be one. So in association, this cardinality always represents the cardinality of the right table, not for the left table. Left table records always considered to be one only. Okay, so this can be one dot dot star, zero dot dot star, anything like that. But in current scenario, between EKKO and EKPO, we are going to have the cardinality one dot dot star, minimum one record, maximum anything. Fine. Now, when we are going to have, let's suppose, one another association over here with a Mara table between EKPO and Mara based upon the Matner. So here the joint condition between EKPO and Mara is nothing but EKPO dot Matner equals to Mara dot Matner. Okay. And here we have EKKO EBELN EKKO EBELN equals to ekpo dot ebln. This is what we have. Here the join condition. Here this is. And uh, here the cardinality of course you know that for one material we can have a minimum one material in Mara and maximum one. So cardinality here is going to be tell me one dot dot one. Good. So now if you try to access the field from EKKO, EKPO and Mara, then you will get this mass message association can't be accessed locally. In case when you try to access the field from the Mara table. Okay. So if you have the association like this between EKKO and EKPO and between EKPO to Mara. So try to understand over here between EKKO to EKPO and between EKPO to Mara, right? So it's a kind of transitive relationship, right? So in this case, system will tell you that. So in this case, when you try to access the field from Mara, if you access the field from EKKO and EKPO, there is no problem. It's perfectly fine. But as soon you try to access the field from the Mara table, it will try telling you, it will keep on telling you association can't be accessed locally. Why? Because this association is the local association to EKPO. Okay. Let me show you in the system. Hope you were able to see my eclipse. Here, let's come and let me clear all this drawing. Now, see here we have, I have created one CDS, the name of the CDS, CDS limitation. EKKO is my first table, second table is EKPO, right? Between EKKO and EKPO, we have the association over here is defined. This name of the association in underscore EKPO. This is the association condition and second association with the Mara table. This creates problem, why? Because here you can see that it's between EKPO 
and its underscore mara that means second association and third association that means between ekpo and mara so here right so first to second and second to third if such kind of association is there and when i'm trying to access the field from the association this mara which is the association between ekpo and mara it's telling this message see the association mara can't be used locally in view right so this is the problem which we get and if you see the description over here by coming right right click over here and uh, it will give you the option to display completely problem description and it will open the detail over here already it is open right and if you go and try to understand what you will come to know that by reading this one that association can't be accessed locally meaning means here like if you have ekko to ekpo and ekpo to mara and you know then in this case it is not possible then how to overcome this situation so first thing what you can do that you don't access the field locally just define the exposed association like this okay just use this exposed association over here create one wrapper cds what i mean means you create one another cds and there you fetch the fields from this you know mara association using path expression right path expression means like you can see that this is one path expression i am able to access matnab field using this association right so similarly using this association in the different cds we can access the field from this underscore mara table this is what i'm trying to tell so that is one solution you can use another solution what it can be that you have to change the sequence of association here ekko to ekpo and ekpo to mara we have what we can do that we can put this ekpo over here okay and we can put this ekko over here and we can put this mara over here okay so if your association is like this ekko ekpo to ekko and ekko to mara why why i'm doing like this because if you are able to define the relationship something like this between ekpo to ekko and between ekpo to mara then there is no problem okay so let me make it more clear what actually i'm trying to tell say in ek here here the association we can define between ekpo to ekko like uh, you know uh, a star dot dot one right and the join condition will be of course ekpo dot eb eln equals to ekko eb eln this will be the join condition right between ekpo and ekko now between ekko and mara you don't have to use the join condition you have to use the join condition between ekpo to mara so here you will easily write you know so ekpo to mara we have this join condition right so we can use this over here and this is what we have the cardinality right so if you just change the place of the table so here you can see that previously i am using at the second place now i am using at the first place ekko is first now we are putting at the second place and mara let it be like at the same position so what it's having it's not a transitive right source is always ekpo only one source for having the association here what is happening in this case in in previous case ekko to ekpo and ekpo to mara we are having right so it creates actually problem if you have ekko to ekpo and ekko to mara then it is fine 
right but we don't have any such field which we can use between ekk and mara if you are able to find some some field based upon that you can put the association and that is meeting your requirement like you are able to achieve your requirement and like you know if you if you are able to put that kind of association then it will not create any problem if you have transitive kind of relationship then you are going to get the problem okay like from ekpo to ekpo and ekpo to mara it will give the error right so you have ekpo to ekpo and ekpo to mara only one source table on which you can have multiple association by this way you should be able to correct your error so let's come here and i'm going to just change the sequence so here i have this let me copy and paste it over here i will not delete rather i will comment and here this also copy this and paste it over here so i will put this one as a ekpo here i will put ekko and here now ekko and the this is going to be star dot dot one uh, not a star dot dot one in fact So here, uh, let's see. Oh, yes, yeah, that is not possible. Sorry for that. Yes, it's not possible. Minimum can't be a star. So you can have like this because corresponding to one record of material, you know, uh, corresponding to one record of uh, EKPO, we can have maximum one and minimum one record in EKQO based upon what? EBL and relationship. So one dot dot one is perfect over here, right? And now again, association we are defining with uh, Mara as, uh, so let me do one thing. I will copy this also. And here, just paste. So previous code just I have commented. And now Mara Matner equals to EKPO Matner. We can use. So you can see that EKPO I'm using as a source table here to define the relationship in first association also and in the second association also okay this is first point and now i will correct the place uh, over here so ek po or maybe what i will do that i will copy this and i'll paste it over here now we have underscore EKKO, so I will put that. And here EKKO bookers, so just copy and paste this one. And now we have underscore EKKO bookers, so we can have this. And then Matner. Matner simply, we can use EKPO. So just give the EKPO and now Mara Matner we can access over here. So Mara dot Matner or anything else like MTART already Matner is there. So why to access once again MTART then underscore Mara dot MATKL or something like that. whatever fields you want to access. You can access now any fields over here. The save this one. We have some error. Let's uh, correct this here. It should be underscore EKKO, right? And uh, it should be EKPO. So now it looks good. You can see that error is now gone and it's perfectly fine. So now EKPO here we are using and the same EKPO, the source table here also we are using. So source table we are using in all the associations. So if you define the association, like you have the source table everywhere then you won't face any issue but if you define the association where the intermediate table if we're going to use then you will get such kind of issue so you can solve like this way or create the another cds and use this cds in the another cds as i have explained earlier 
that also will help you to achieve your requirement so based upon your requirement just use this and get it done thank you for watching i will come with the another limitation shortly for various different courses you can visit my website www.saptechmadeeg.com store and find it out if any course you find relevant for you you can subscribe for that thank you bye